I decided to just dig a little deep with Linda Sanders, but uh, when I looked it up, up pops delinquent taxes on this property. So uh, it's fair to say maybe that's how they got that uh, that piece of land there. But let's just see what this says. It says Belinda Sanders, the Fulton County basis of fashion was the red copy of the year. So she was on a fashion show, y'all. Coach, are you? <laughs> you mean his other girl is on a runway? The other one, the ex-wife walking on a runway? Now the girlfriend walking on the runway? Where you at, Coach? Well, you still ain't nobody invited you to the runway. Well, maybe one day Coach Law will get invited to the runway. Well, anyway, let's go. She's in Fulton County. Faces of Fashion was the red copy of the year. Thanks to the amazing at Lisa Nicole Cloud for putting up such an incredible event. That That's the girl that was on uh, Marriage of Medicine. Congratulations to all of the honoree and stylists that displayed their talents of the runway. I'm talking about Belinda Sanders. Belinda Indu is her marriage name. And then it's got uh, Dwight Eubank had the place looking heavily. So we guys know Dwight from the Real Housewife of Atlanta. Shout out to Robert Texture at Cynthia Bailey, Ego, Missouri. All these shout out now. The White Banks. So these are different people she stopped shouting out to. And it said, love the vibes and the ambivalence. Keep killing it on the fashion world. Now, I'm going to turn off the music because... Um, okay, so turn off the music. Anyway, this is Belinda, you guys. This is the lady that's in question about why was she prop? Why would she purchase land for Martell? But I'll pass by there, and the land is coming up. It's coming up, you guys, pretty good. I stopped by there. I have to pass by there on my way to different places. But let's just take a look at the land. They saying that this woman has taken the land back from um, Martell. But they're no longer getting along. This indeed is her land. Let's just see. Get a look closer so y'all can see. Nally Avenue. Let me go back a little bit. But look, y'all, I, I looked it up and it said something about delinquent property taxes. This land was on. So I'm wondering if that's how they got this. She got this land. So let's just see, why would this woman... So 
coming in for school over here. Everybody, let's go back to school. But, but uh, again, I just did an overnight nostalgia. But I'd like to just say something about this is uh, this is Oma. You're on the case with Oma. You're on the case for black types. Now I want to talk about um myself. Let me give my last look. Uh, my last look. We're on our way back home because my baby. I don't know that baby coming for real, y'all. Her due date was the twenty seventh. So Belinda, so Belinda is in a relationship yeah, with Martel, yes. He, she's been seen everywhere with Martel. Ellen's still in the background hollering that she want him to marry her. Ellen's still in the background hollering that she's not on that show a decade later and she still want this man to marry her. Anyway, hopefully Belinda has woke up. Hopefully Belinda will no longer allow him to use her. But something is going on with this property. I don't know what it is. But anyway, this is called the Fashion of Fashion. Art and Fashion Galo with Belinda Sanders, you guys. Right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Remember, eagles fly with eagles. All right, now, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. This is Arthur Oma, and remember, eagles fly with eagles. So, you know, this was quite interesting that Melinda wrote how much of a boss she was. Yes, I am complete. I bet on me. I am whole. She holds her head high because she's everything. Yes, I am whole. I affirm myself. Yet, she will be seen with a man like Martel. Let's just see what she says over here. Belinda M. S. Sanders said, Wow, taking the time to meditate, pray, and be ready for my virtual manifestation course has me feeling so inspired. I dare you to repeat these and not feel inspired, encouraged, and joyful. We'll see you with, with a man like, like uh, Martel doesn't. It, it doesn't fit your action. You say that you inspire, you're the ultimate woman, yet you will be seen with a man like Martel, who is trying to belittle his baby mother. She says, I am black excellent. I personify and my success knows no bounds. My strength is my superpower. I rise above every challenge. I am a queen. I wear my crown of confidence with pride. I am the author of my own destiny, and my story is one of triumph. My melanin is my magic. I radiate beauty inside and out. I embrace my uniqueness and empower others to do the same. I am a trailblaze, breaking barriers and shattering glass ceilings. My dreams are valid. I'm unapologetic about pursuing them. I stand tall, unburdened by the weight of stereotypes. So you got all this woman, she's complete, she's whole, but yet she will let a man like this come into her life. And she got all these children by this man, y'all. She's been believing she's divorced, yet she would, <clears throat> they say, have money to purchase property for this man. Let's just take a look at who is her man. <laughs> So let's have a right there to this. She's going to be talking for a moment. So I'm like, okay, what's up? You know, so what's going through my head is, what the hell's going to talk about right now? 
You know what she's supposed to talk about. Yes, you know. You know. Now, he, 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 he knows that he's not supposed to be there. Look at that smirk on his face. He getting ready. Think we're going to fall for that smirk that's on his face. But, but Linda, what do you see in this man? You have children. You've been divorced yourself. And you got, I think they said five children. What do you see in this man? Are you a male identified? Are you a pygmy? Because at this time, that, that right here, they were going through the battle of their life. They were going through uh, child custody. Okay, well, this man trying to get custody of his child. Yeah, this woman says she is empowered. She is the ultimate woman. Let's keep going. Got to be this one thing. So, no, yeah, like that's why you laughing. This is a party I'm throwing for my daughter. You throw one for yours. Okay, or have you gone to party for any of your children since I left you? I didn't get that. I was doing. Speaking of children, um, Belinda. Yeah, speaking of children, Belinda, do you remember when this man after the court? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then his court case went viral, and uh, he's he's had it where the court struck put a stroke on her melody and said that she could not post her children on social media. But who, but who posted her child? You did. That was a jab at Melanie. Yet you said you're a complete lady. You bet on me. I am whole. Yet you will go and you will take, try to uh, take your strength or your superpower and what, uh, whatever. To throw shade at Melody with her children. Melody was not able to post her children, but you did it. You did it out of spite. Watch this man all across social media blast this woman. Oh, so you're complete, huh? It don't matter to you that this man is trying to take full custody of his his woman. I am empowered. Do he empower you? I am the ultimate woman. No, y'all. I am accomplished. I am complete. Bet on me, I bet on me. And y'all see how she giving all these inspiring, encouraging words, yet she had no compassion for another lady that's been left a single mom just like her. She would go so far as to buy this man property, have him a home built. That's what they say, allegedly. Let's keep on going. Let's see this lady, this lady is so empowered. Look at the type of man you got. Now, look, you guys, he going to leave this party and going to go somewhere in Atlanta. I don't know whether with, with, with Belinda you or she right. Later on, it's still her Are you tripping? I don't want this to turn into a scene. So, I'm trying my best to lower the temperatures and keep the drama down. I mean, it's just. Y'all yeah, know that was the only time we saw Miss Ben on that show. But she still was trying to be nice because she didn't want to call to no drumble. That's just it. It's a lot right now. So I'm trying to figure out a way to calm everybody down and hopefully get Martell out of here as quietly as possible. You're welcome to dinner later. I don't have a problem with that. So did y'all see Chris? Chris walked through that door. You can celebrate today. Later on and still today, are you? I'll get the issue. It's still today her birthday. And I said, well, can you get her later on? Even though it's a lot here and I don't have to. You can get her later on. You can, you can. There you go. Now, y'all notice we haven't seen Martel at all. We haven't seen Martel, uh, I think, in the, in the last two Saturdays. So I don't know what's going on with him. But anyway, he's getting ready to... Uh, 
just go unhinged with this woman, you guys. But he's still on that show. Why why would he still be on that show after even watching this? This man is unhinged. What's that? And you had an invitation to come. Guess where you were? And you were invited. And you were invited. Yes, sir. Hey, y'all, so. This is about the combat group. The people in Huntsville are upset with the Scots. Now, uh, say, Kimmy, Kimmy posted this, y'all, the Black Expo, a combat group initiative. Now, this is from Jamie Lynn Jones from a Facebook page. She's a, uh, the administrator of a Facebook fan. But it said, was the Scots, the, the, uh, was this uh, the Black Expo uh, original idea? These people are so upset. Business Journal, you guys. Huntsville Business Black Expo set to return in late summer 2022. They hijacked these people ideas, you guys. Vicki Morris, along with the help of other organizers, organizer, held the first Huntsville Black Business Expo, November 2021, to help bring uh, the two worlds of Huntsville yeah. together. Okay, I see this, y'all. Her mission was to take her, take, her mission was to take her experience or expertise in helping small businesses in the Huntsville area and highlight black owned small business while also providing a family something. But anyway, you get the drift, you guys. These people are upset because they turned around and hijacked it now. They hijacked their business expo. Uh, Tisha and, and the Scots did. Oh, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. That's why they got a bad reputation in Huntsville, you guys. They really do. They have a bad reputation. They like to steal everything, steal people's ideas. This coming from Melody Cherie, a.k.a. Melody Hope's fan page to T in the shade. What's the Scott Expo idea at Huntsville Original? No. Kimmy posted this black business expo, but look, look who they took it from, you guys. They steal everything, people, ideals. They don't do nothing original. Oh, so it's nothing that Scott do is original. It's by Stephanie. They are copycats. Instead of admitting they're inspired by others to recreate, they want to be seen as original. But they lack substance. One is said exactly. Production set this all up as a storyline, just like Martell Wine Release Party. Give me a break. None of them had that kind of money, you guys. $10,000 in eligible tax deductible expenses. The Scott opt to convert a non-profit event into a for-profit event by charging people a fee while asking speakers to waive their speaker fee. Does that make sense? They weren't supposed to charge. It only says, supposed to be non-profit. Well, Tisha, you open open the box in the beginning. Sam Martell bought his girlfriend a car being messy. When you threw that rock, did you ever think it would shatter your own window? Mm -hmm. Now you and your husband have a great view, he said. And I quote you, oh, wow, they on these fans not playing with the Scots today. You threw a match in the house. He'll burn yours down. 
we are coming. It's starting. It's staring you right in your face. They are scammers. Says I know I ain't probably late, but where is Kimmy's son at this season? Now Martel threw Kimmy's son under the bus. Said that he was five percent of scope. I really enjoyed when he was on the show. I remember him standing up to the Scots about their establishment, sure black did. or black, however it's spelled. He's probably sick of the mess. Hopefully, he went and found another job to muscle and teach, was using the heck out of, out of him. Sylvia just said, where is now with your mother, Miss Van? I haven't seen her in a while. How many, how many believe that Tisha and Marceau used the expo to line their own pockets and intentionally left the others out as far as the money was concerned? Totally agree, says Ross Rodney. Kim said, I don't feel that was their intention. I do, however, feel <laughs> there was a bit of shaking that's going on behind the scenes. While watching a lot of marriage hospitals, as far as anyone noticed, the cast intentionally not used Martell's name in scenes he's not. Yeah. So, whoa. all right, you guys. This is Melody right here. It's come from Melody Sherry. She says, hey, hey, Facebook fans, have you heard? I've been taking you all on my Paris journey, and today I did some shopping. I bought two Louis Vuitton gifts that I randomly given away to 27 Avenue Beauties. Simply make a purchase using the discount code PARIS for 40% off and you could win the 7th Avenue Beauty dot net. www 7 Avenue Beauty dot net. Let's turn it on and see what's going on, you guys. Let's see if any music on here. Oh, boy. Yeah, Melody just got back from Paris, you guys. I don't know. She she had a, a fabulous time. I thought it was a video, but I guess it's not. Yes, it is. It's a video. What is this saying? Let me drop collection is putting the girl on top of the world. I love that yellow. Today only, you got to use this code, y'all. Paris for 40% off. That's what she's saying, boy, it was it on. Uh, this video has no sound to say. All right, now, y'all go out and get that lemon drop. I'm sure, I'm sure Melody had a great time in Paris, you guys. Yeah, that must have been uh, uh, really fast fun in Paris. This girl is the went international, you guys. She just a... She done, and she like a track star. You know how the track star be the fastest one out there on the track and you just leave your opponent in the wind. What is this right here? Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Oh, that's when she was pregnant with sugar mama. Y'all look at that. <laughs> What's a beautiful any kind of the way? She says she's still fabulous. Seven Avenue to the rescue. <laughs> Let's get the lemon drops. All right, Marcel. What, Marcel, what you got to say? You said you only sell T-shirts, but these are not T-shirts, now. These are not T-shirts. <laughs> get your lemon drop today. <laughs> Calling all people. This is coming from Melody Sheree fan page, the T and I read. So y'all know I read off Linda, Belinda's strength of a woman. Let's see what Melody said. See, Melody not only do she just 
print what she say, but she shows hers in actions. So she said the strength of a woman, Melody Sheree. That's all she said now. We are, we have we looks at her strength. Okay, Miss Vanessa Roger Tracy, Miss Beautiful Vanessa said facts. Sonica said, yes, love, I'm here for all of the empowerment you give all. Solid day come. Love, man, saying powerful, beautiful pictures. Love the statement on the picture. The strength of a woman. Yes. Strength of a woman. Miss Vanessa had to tune in. Oh, the like what her her daughter says, beautiful Miss Vanessa Roger Trace. Yeah, I see what she's going on here. This is Melody. <laughs> Let me drop you guys. Let me drop collective. What are you waiting for? Let me drop collective. What are you waiting for? Because you see, this woman got more than just t shirts out. Can you top that? My suit, the lemon drop collection. <laughs>